It looks like the Samsung Galaxy Fold will take much longer to launch than we expected, even after the Galaxy Note 10. Some new patents show us that Huawei's new foldable smartphone might look very different. And we have the different dimensions of the Google Pixel 4 smartphones, including camera humps. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, this is the ugly face of a person that woke up really early to record before I catch the flight. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today begin with deals if you're in the market for more Apple products. And I promise you, we're gonna start looking for deals on other things. B&H has their mega deal zone where it will actually last for 72 hours, which means you still have up until tomorrow to be able to take advantage. They have deals on Apple products like $500 off the 2014 Mac Mini, meaning obviously the maxed out version or a higher tier version of the Mac Mini, and up to $1,000 off the 2018 MacBook Pros, which bear in mind, these are the ones that I use to edit these videos, so that's great rate, up to $700 off IMAX and $560 off iPad Pros. Once again, these are products that we use on a daily basis for work, so we're actually looking for a replacement to a MacBook Pro uh, from the team, so you can learn more in the description. Now let's talk about LG and an important announcement of the LG V50 ThinQ on Verizon at their up to speed event. There are two reasons why this phone is important. The first one being the fact that the footprint is like the LG V40. So it's a smaller phone than the Samsung Galaxy S10 5G. And then the second one is the fact that this is a 5G phone and you're only going to pay $999 for it. Only I say because you pay $1,300 for the Galaxy S10 5G. So those of you in the market for a 5G phone, you can learn more about that in the description as well. Now let's talk about the ASUS ROG Phone 2. The company has just teased that we should expect a device coming very soon. Very interesting changes, 120 hertz on the display, which we don't really know is if it's available on OLEDs yet. Uh, 90 hertz, I think, is the max, and the ROG One was the first phone to bring that, so I don't know, might be an LCD, but we'll keep you posted on that. Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 up to 12 gigs of RAM, but the price tag is the craziest one. $635 is the possibility, so definitely look out for that as gaming phones keep getting more popular. Now let's move the spotlight over to the Google Pixel 4 as we've been covering more rumors as to what to expect. Uh, we know that there are three design firms. We don't exactly know what the design is going to be, but uh, we keep getting more leaks and then Google finally teased at least what to expect from the back. Now we did see that there was a grill back there for, you know, <laughs> it looks like a stove definitely, but the thing about it is we hear that that is going to be a significant camera hump up to the point where it might add an extra millimeter and thickness in the portion where that hump is going to be. That's one of the leaks that we have. And then the second one is screen sizes, 5.6 to 5.8 inches, diagonal on the small variant of the Pixel 4, and then 6.2 to 6.4, I believe, on the larger variant. Stay tuned for what to expect as obviously we're getting closer to the future Pixels. And how about if we talk about Huawei as a, uh, yes, we do know that the Mate X is delayed, but we continue seeing more patents of what to expect for foldables. We saw that Xiaomi has an outward folding device that folds in two parts. Now we see Huawei patenting this design. And obviously we can't tell you if this is going to launch this year. I doubt it's gonna happen this year. But according to certain sources, Huawei considers this to be the better design. <laughs> um, for reasons we don't understand. They even consider it to be better than the Galaxy Fold. So those are bold statements if they're true. Uh, we'll see if we end up getting this. And finally, the hottest news today have to do with that Samsung Galaxy Fold. Hold it, hold it. Let me interrupt our regularly scheduled programming and I know I'm not wearing the same shirt and I'm in the airport. This is the problem when you record things early and then the news change after you're flying across from one country to another. Let me tell you what we knew yesterday and then I'll come back and tell you what just changed today. We've been waiting for a possible launch. We heard that it would happen end of May. Then we heard June. Then we heard sources claiming July. Now we've got internal sources claiming no. Apparently there hasn't been much progress actually and July is definitely not gonna be the launch date. According to the source, the company is reducing the gap and also figuring out a way to make that uh, removable, non-removable screen protector of a different material or design in a different way to be able to make this less prone to the problems that happened. The thing about it is, according to the source, we might not expect this launch to happen until the Galaxy Note or after. They even said after the Galaxy Note, actually. We're not thinking that Samsung is going to delay it that much, but right, that's what we heard yesterday. Now, as of today, 
Samsung's display vice president just came out on record to state that the display problems of the Galaxy Fold have been ironed out and that it's ready to hit the market and that it'll grab a lot of attention when it does so. Now, we still don't have a launch date, but rumors are split between July, the launch date, or probably even the Galaxy Note 10's unpacked event. And we have been hearing rumors as to when that launch date will be, so uh, back to our regularly scheduled programming as the question of the day remains the same. Let us know in the comments down below. I mean, what do you think? Do you think that uh, Samsung has shot itself in the foot with how much it's delayed the Galaxy Fold? Or do you think that it's a good idea for the company to delay it? Because in my case, this is the third time that I cover this. Uh, I still wait for it. I still want it. But I still consider this to be a problem the more they delay it because of the expectation that was generated. Uh, this is just me. Obviously, we would love to know what you think in the comments down below. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on parkingnow.com and subscribe to both our channels, English and Spanish. For more videos like this one, also follow us on social media. Our extended coverage happens on Instagram. And you can also follow me. I post some weird running photos and I actually do test the phones. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.